<laughs> yeah, don't screw it up and then you fall out or something like that. No. Awesome. Well, it's nice to have you back. And you know what? I am so excited about this show today. And to everyone that's watching our show and listens to our show on Spotify and Apple and Google and everywhere else, YouTube, it's not a podcast. Don't think it's a podcast. Dominic, I heard I heard that you were trying to make it a podcast the other day. Well, yeah, you know, Jay, once in a while we got to do that, right? So, <laughs> Anyways, we're the only not a podcaster out there. I, I actually emailed all my podcast friends the other day and said, hey, you know what? Someday maybe I'll be growing up to be a podcast, but we're just going to take the number one show yeah. in America and make if it a show. If you're expecting to grow up and be like mature and stuff, that's probably not going to happen. So not here. No. I don't <laughs> No, not here. That's going to happen. But we do have an amazing top level, incredible, like this is royalty we have on the show today. Um, I'm super, super excited to talk about what he does and the, and the restaurant group that he takes care of and the guys he takes care of it for. It is incredible. Dominic, this is like a showstopper. This is like end of the season. Mm -hmm. Grey Cup, Super Bowl, Stanley Cup. We won't talk about that. Adam was kind of poking me earlier about that. We'll talk about that. Um, but we have an amazing guest. I'm pumped. You pumped? Graham, I'm getting a little bit of feedback, Jay. I'm not sure if, if you're hearing that as well. When um, you speak, it, you're you're breaking up a bit, but you're kind breaking of breaking up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Adam is here. Let's, let's, let's make sure you don't have droopy face. We're good. It's not you. You're not having that not stroke. Me, man. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. I just let's... like, I got the droopy face without smelling the toast, I guess, the burnt <laughs> toast. So. Okay, no burnt uh... toast. All right. Well, let's get going. Oh, good. Cheers. Respect this guy's time. We're going to go yeah. into the intro. Be right back with this amazing guest. Here we go. There you go. Welcome, Adam. Welcome, Adam. Hey, Dominic. I was going to say, I hope that intro is not too much. We always get hack on our intros. Good, good movement. Nighttime <laughs> reflects the show. <laughs> well, it, it reflects our guest. <laughs> yeah. I am so honored. It is incredible, Adam, for you to spend the time with us today. You know, this is all about you. We 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 talk about our shows is not a podcast. We there's no podcast. Everyone's got one now, and uh, we like to do ours around the whole idea that it's all about you. We just do a, a great show, and we just want to welcome you. It's a good late night. Great, well, wow. great to be here, and uh, great to be able to talk about rock and brews, and uh, <laughs> share it share it with uh, North America. That's yes, awesome. Cool, Dominic. Y'all ready? I'm ready, man. I'm shaking over here. I'm going to let you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you got to talk about. So, first of all, CEO, partner of Rock and Brews. How did you get into this? Well, uh, you know, it's a it's a small town story, really, because uh, I was I was really brought into it by what was a, a kind of a friend of mine, a couple friends of mine who lived in the neighborhood, uh, Michael Zislis, who's a restaurant hotel entrepreneur here in uh, Southern California, and then Dave and Del Ferrano, who are the rock and roller guys, uh, you know, that uh, date way back to the late 60s in the industry. And uh, between the three of them really made up a great, uh, really a great partnership. Um, but uh, as Michael will always say, I first created a pizza company called Fresh Brothers, 
and grew that to uh, over 20 units. And to, after taking a break of that and uh, some, some kind of change up around that, and I still sit on the board and still involved with, with Fresh Brothers. Um, I was talking with my buddy Michael one day, and he, as he likes to uh, tell people, how'd you guys meet each other? Well, we've been at every charity event, every <laughs> school giveaway, every school fun run. I don't just mean in our backyard. I mean throughout our whole South Bay area of Southern California that through my pizza company originally and through his restaurants and hotels, we were always doing the charitable thing. We we're always doing the right thing for the community. So, you know, I think one reason why Michael, you know, picked me as a partner and to come in and take over running Rock and Brews uh, is really the philanthropy work uh, that both of us do, um, which is, you know, really critical in the, in the restaurant business. And uh, I'd like to say we're unique in it, but, you know, restaurants are are the type of people that give back to the community. We're the type of people, that, yeah. people that need to be fed when, in time of disaster, uh, you know, that we saw, unfortunately, around the country over the last few years, whether it's Katrina down in uh, Louisiana and some of the other, you know, unfortunate happenings, COVID and so on, right? Uh, it's always the restaurants that give back. So, you know, we, we're, we're really, we come, we come from the same, the same block here in uh, beautiful Manhattan Beach, California. And, uh, you know, it's uh, if you start with giving back and uh, treat, you know, not only our customers well, but our employees well, you know, that's the mentality we, that we share as restaurateurs. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Jay, we, we talk about that a lot. Like a lot of our, a lot of our guests are, it's, it, it is a common thing. Like, I, I, I like what you said. You're like, we like to think we're so unique, but the, the cool thing is, is that we're not unique in that sense is that the vast majority of restaurants have a, a lot of that same philosophy that they're, they're, they're already part of the community they, or they already were part of the community. And then when, when, when disaster happens, they're there to support the community. And that's, that's common, which is cool. And that's why, you know, I, Jay, I'm not going to start with the government thing, but I think a lot of people don't understand how how integral restaurants and food service is to communities. They're they're just like they're a key part of it. There are a lot of times that that keystone that keeps everything together because that's the gathering place. That's the place where people meet up. That's the place that, you know, sponsors the hockey team or the basketball team or the football team or the or the charity race or whatever it is, is that's the place that's, that's doing it or pulling it together. So um, it's, it's awesome to hear that, that you guys are, are like that, you know, like, like many other places. So that's cool. And, and the other thing too, I think Adam, Adam and I want to say that like what we started our show was that same purpose was that we wanted to give back and to tell these stories of these amazing entrepreneurs and, and restaurateurs and hotelers and chefs, because they, they typically don't get the limelight. If it is, it's usually in a negative sense as well. And, you know, like, or they're going out of business or the industry's going through tough times. We wanted to shed light on the positive of it sure. and the amazing things that people are doing like yourselves and, 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 and to also celebrate it. And that's really at the end of it, why we started our show. And it's been awesome. Like we've kind of rules that we, we don't talk negative about what we do and what the industry is about because there's enough out there. It's podcast galore, and we're not one, but we want to also talk about the positives. And I know Rock and Brews, you guys do amazing stuff. And can you share some things you do? Because I know you give back to the community majorly. Uh, and we do, and, and throughout the country, you know, with, with 24 units, uh, you know, from California coast to the East Coast, down in Florida, a tip of uh, southern, uh, southern Florida there as well, up to Milwaukee, uh, through the Midwest and Kansas City and uh uh, St. Louis, Texas, and so on. And, you know, the company was really always was really founded on giving back. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I know we'll talk more, but, you know, our co-founders, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons, uh, are, are just incredibly generous guys. And, uh, you know, really all kind of started with giving back to veterans, uh, which is probably one of our, our largest mm -hmm. organizations and, and groups that we do give back in, in different ways, including on Veterans Day and a couple other days a year, we you know, we'll feed first responders and, and veterans uh, at no cost to them. Right. And, uh, you know, we've given away, you know, millions of meals uh, over the last uh, 14 years, you know, to, uh, to just to make people happy, you know, on, mm -hmm. uh, you know as much as we could. So um, 
you know, giving back is real important uh, to our, our co-founders, our founders, and and now myself as uh, the CEO of the company. Uh, you know, as, as I like to say, we we'd rather give away a meal than discount a meal for someone special in our lives. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Awesome. Like, and, but that's what makes you guys so great, right? And I and I think there's a lot of restaurants that can learn from that, and that's why we love having people like yourself on there to tell those stories. And to share that because a lot of people may say, you know, the discount or whatever it is and take models like that. But it really, at the end of it, it's about taking care of the people, especially the vets. And Robert Irvine says hi to you as well. So <laughs> I was on a show with him yesterday and he says hi. And uh, I was telling him that you're on the show today and he's like, oh, I know Adam. <laughs> so he yeah. says hi. So he, and he also gives so back to the troops yeah, and to the veterans absolutely. and everyone. Right. right? You know, and, and the other part of us, you know, being in the food industry and really being a community restaurant that we are around the country is that there's so many great things that go on. And if, uh, if you caught the, you know, little league world series last year, the El Segundo, uh, team, which is where our first store is, uh, here in Southern California, that was the first, first rock and brews built. Uh, they went all the way through the world world series and, you know, like any, uh, little league team or cheerleading squad, or, you know, uh, you know, any of these sports that come through the communities, they all need help. You know, I mean, and, and it's, it's a lot on the parents and it's a, it's a burden to travel these kids and pay for expenses. And, and uh, you know, we had screening parties uh, for that little League world series throughout uh, the entire tournament. And everybody who came into Rock and Brews and, and El Segundo, we gave 20 percent back across the board to help pay for their kids trip uh, to wow. go out and play. And, you know, we raised well over ten thousand uh, dollars for the little league to uh, to use towards that. And. You know, those are the kinds of things we can do. And, you know, I, I, so many restaurateurs do that. And mm -hmm. those who don't should because, you know, when you're the community feels that they give back to you and they do, you know, so they, they want to be a part of people that give uh, and know where they're spending their money, you know, stays in the community, you know, and that's why yeah. it's so important with our restaurants and the power that we have in these communities is that. We take care of our communities. We know the community takes care of us. It's awesome. It's, Isn't it, it Dominic? It's such it's a simple so philosophy, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's so true though, but it is simple, right? It is that simple. Um, and I like what you said about, yeah, you'd rather feed somebody than just give them a discount. And that's, you know, for a lot of restaurants, that's easier to do. Yeah. Than, than mm -hmm. coming up with a discounting scheme and tracking it and all that sort of stuff. It's, it, a lot of times it's easier just to feed the person, right? Or, or, who, or the group or whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, you, you have uh, 24 restaurants across the country. Uh, Jay's probably was, I'm going to steal a thunder here. Are you coming to Canada? We love to come to Canada. We haven't, uh, we haven't gotten out of this part of North America yet, but uh, <laughs> I, I, am, I am from Chicago. So I'm used to some of that colder weather up there that uh, we were talking about earlier. Uh, but uh, it, it certainly would love to uh, come up to some of your major cities up there. Uh, we're, we're real focused right now uh, in continuing to build out uh, in some of the states that we're in. Uh, Texas, we open uh, a new Rock and Brews uh, oh, wow. next, next Tuesday in Grapevine, Texas, which is part of Dallas area. Uh, on the same day, actually, we're getting a little closer to you. We're going in northern <laughs> Wisconsin. So we're wow. be <laughs> That's yeah. close. We'll be opening up uh, at the uh, Potawatomi Casino in uh, oh, yes. uh, in uh, Carter, which is in Wabino, Wisconsin. And uh, that's our second Rock and Brews in uh, partnership with Potawatomi, uh, also known as uh, the Forest County uh, Tribe there uh, in mm -hmm. Wisconsin. And, and really great people. Um, the, our place in Milwaukee is, uh, is our newest model with a live band stage. Uh, which, by the way, next week Gene Simmons is playing on the band stage in Rock and Bruce. Can you imagine this? I mean, we're talking. That's about cool. That are going to get the place is going to be packed. Yeah. Gonna be Gene's packed. going to Gene's. Gene's <laughs> he might be afraid of what he started. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, uh, if, if he can ha handle one hundred thirty thousand when he, you know, when he gets to play <laughs> down in uh, South America, he could handle a couple hundred people. Uh, <laughs> uh, so. You know, it's interesting by Gene and, and, and it was, I was supposed to have Gene on the show um, last year. We we're working on with his, with the um, money bag soda. We we're working on yeah. getting Gene on the show. Shannon is actually from Saskatoon, 
which is our province next to us. And that's where I'm from. So we were talking about, it wouldn't be kind of cool if he's up here <laughs> visiting family to yeah. swing on by, but it is, it must be incredible to work with those guys. It must be just incredible. It is. I mean, you, you know, you're talking about legendary rock stars, uh, you know, that are just amazing, you know, musicians and personality mm. and, and, and really just really great people. Um, and it's taken really, you know, such an interest in the rock and Brews brand as the co-founders and, and to this day, you know, they're still tasting food. The gene still comes in and gets his demon burger. And, uh, you know, Paul always has an idea for us, uh, you know, in, in what we're doing and really great partners. Uh, I, I feel very fortunate. Uh, but on top of it, I mean, you're talking about, you know, rock and roll hall of fame you know, <laughs> rock stars that we get to hang out with. You know? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I, I like the fact that you said you know, not only are they good partners, but they're good people, right? So that makes it easier, obviously, for you. Not, I'm, I'm sure your job's not easy, but it must be. It must be great to work with good partners and good founders that aren't just, you know, out there. I don't want to say crazy, but wacko. I don't know what the <laughs> answer, what the word is, but there's, there's. You, you hear of some celebrities that are just nuts in some of these brands, and then there's good people that. Sometimes we don't hear it, like Jay said, we don't hear enough of. Hey, yeah. here's there's actually lots of good people out there doing lots of good things that are really there just to support the community. They want to grow their brand, obviously, right? They're in it for for a reason, but they're the the giving back part is the first reason. So that's the that's the message I think a lot of times is missed. Yeah, well, the, yeah. And, and they do, and and they stand by they stand behind it. Uh, they stand behind the brand uh, nice. whenever doing a groundbreaking or a ribbon cutting of a new rock and bruise or at a new casino, you know, they, they join in and they're part of it. They're very proud of it. Uh, in fact, we just saw a post come over Instagram of Paul publicizing jeans band playing next week, you know, which was really cool that, you know, that he popped yeah. that up on his Instagram and, you know, supporting, uh, you know, not only just Gene but the rock and bruise brand. So you, you're right. There are other celebrity, uh, restaurants out there that you know maybe they just buy or license the name and then put the, mm -hmm. the name on it. That's not Rock and Bruce. You know they Paul and Gene are the uh, start. They they they, they start with the Rock and Rock and Bruce and you know have always been that way since inception and and continue to be that way, which is really great for me by the way because as we go out and as we expand, which is mm -hmm. uh, you know, our intention is to continue to grow and to put these Rock and Brews in more and more locations across North America. Uh, and beyond, um, we are looking for opportunities overseas, which is a great brand to, you know, to take over to Europe and, and Asia with, with yeah. rock and roll. You know, look, you know, rock and roll is the universal language. You know, it's that our classic rock hits, classic Kiss songs, you know, they're pl they're being played as much over in Europe and in Asia as they yeah. are here in, in, in America. So uh, the brand is, you know, really has the legs to travel. So, um you know, to answer your question, when do we come to Canada? You know, <laughs> we've got a spot for you, Adam. I've got a spot for you. I hope someone's listening that wants to bring us up there. <laughs> well, I got a spot. We got a spot in Calgary. I think that would do. Right. We do really well in Calgary. Yeah, and uh, it would do phenomenal in Calgary. Let's put it that way. I think it well, rocked here. Send it down to me. Let's take a look. <laughs> we'll send it down. But I, I, I mean it. I want. I'm good. I know. Up. I'm serious too. Like I can only. I could only dream of working with Gene, yourself, and Paul on a project up here in Cal in Calgary, in Canada. And we're rocking it here in Canada as well. But I have to say this, and I say this sincerely. I've been in the industry 34 years. I've been across the country millions of times. I just came back from headlining the NRA show, the National Restaurant Association show um, in Chicago. Your brand is solid. I said Rock and Brews is a brand and I've seen this from the beginning because I've always been a fan of uh, Gene and Paul's and I've seen it from the beginning from opening the first store. And I've always been, that's why I'm excited today because it, yeah, it's, I, you know, I get to talk a little bit about the legends they are, but it's the brand that you guys have. I've been intrigued from the beginning of the brand of the incorporation of what you guys have done and the importance of the food. And I've seen posts about Paul and I've seen Paul talking about the importance of the food and Gene and them for the be there when they opened up the first store and looking for the feedback from the customer 
and the importance of veterans. I've seen it from the beginning and you guys have a solid brand. It is a good brand. And and, and this is back to what Dominic was trying to spit out is I think is that it, it makes sense because you guys are into the details. And I believe the details when you work with franchises or brands like this is so important. The thought that goes into the product, the thought that goes into them being a part of it, it makes the success of what a brand is like you guys have. And it's solid. I have to say, I've seen a lot of brands. They always, they always seem like to be lacking the purpose of what they're trying to do. And you guys nail it. And then you, I want to talk a little bit about the food because the food looks phenomenal as well. And, and we put a lot into the food. Um, it, you, you know, the food it shows, food. it shows. But we put as much into the food as we do in our training and our hospitality, to be honest with you, because it, the food can be great. And if you don't have great hospitality and great servers and, you know, great cooks in the back, making great food, making sure it looks right. You're just another burger joint or you're just another <laughs> pizza place or, you know, but, but, but you have to excel. And, and, and in today's food market, uh, you have to be the best. And we, we don't settle for anything less than that. You know, if, if you've been to a, if you've been to any of these, these kiss shows lately, uh, it all starts with, you want the best, you got the best. So, you know, that's Kiss and that's Rock and Bruce because yeah. we ha- in the competitive market today with today's economy, if you're not great, if you're not the best, you're not going to be around very long. Yeah. 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 There's no room for average. There really yeah, is. Yeah. No I, like the, I like the fact that they focus on that, Jay. We're a training company. I own a training company. Jay, but we all believe in training like you, oh, you believe in training and you know that 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 actually makes the difference because the food could be spectacular, and yeah, if you bad, if have bad hospitality, bad servers, but yeah, even just a you know stuff that gets neglected or not taken care of as far as cleanliness, it can do a lot of brand damage and un- unfairly actually because that that you know the the great food now gets unfairly criticized because of. A dirty bathroom or because of something that you know some, some even somebody that wasn't intending to be that but training and consistency and i think the you said earlier you're dedicated to um treating your staff right um that reduces turnover and that that creates loyalty and taking care of your staff um ends up helping take care of your customers and and your customers see it well, so it's like yeah it's it's awesome uh, and on the training end, uh, you know, we don't just come in, train, get a store open and go. We, we mm-hmm. continuously train. You know, tra- awesome. tra- training has to continue. And what we really find is that, you know, our, our staff wants to be trained, right? They want additional tools to help them in front of house make more money. Uh, our hosts train them to get to that next level so they can become servers. Uh, you know, our, our back of house, you know, you start on the fry line, you advance the grill uh, before you know it. You know, you're you're an assistant lead in the kitchen. And then when a spot opens up, you become a kitchen manager. And, and there we're really teaching financials as well, because, you know, they, they really have to understand the financials of the business um, from the front of house to the back of house. And, and we really let di- a lot of areas um, that you might not normally see in a restaurant understand uh, the financials of, of the business, because, you know, we all know this is, this is a pennies business this day, you know, <laughs> these days. you can't, you know, you, you, you were down to pennies and pennies and ounces. You know? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. going to say, yeah, there, there's not much left. <laughs> what, do you say, much. what do you say to companies that don't want to invest in training? What do you say to, what would you say to those people that, that say, Hey, I got no money for training. You know, there, there's different ways of training. So there, there's training that you can spend money and then there's training that in-house uh, you have your in-house people do. And, you know, look, we, we, we do a good mixture of both, uh, but because of the size that we're at and the staff that we have on the corporate level, uh, you know, we put our corporate team out into each of our licensed or franchise locations, uh, you know, throughout the year. It's not just to go in and see what they're doing wrong. It's to go in and, and train them up, Right. And to make sure, certainly to make sure they're serving the product that we're supposed to be, the, the SKUs are, you know, matching uh, the way we design the recipes. But more than anything, really just working with people uh, to make them feel that they're doing better, to take them to the next level. 
Uh, and ultimately, it, it makes them and, and, and the, uh, the restaurant itself more money. And yeah. we know when you're making money, they, everybody's a lot happier than when you're not. <laughs> yeah, so sales, sales, sales and making money fix a lot of things, right? <laughs> they just do. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong no. with making money either. Um, Adam, as we wrap up here, I got to ask you a couple of questions about the food. I just want to go back to the food for a second. What's your favorite meal at Rock and Brews? You know, I, I, uh, I what, what do you go to all the time? My, my, my go-to is, uh, <laughs> we have this incredible beet salad, uh, and I get a piece of our blackened salmon on top of it. So oh. I, I really, uh, that's, that's my go-to dish, but I always start my number one start are our Asian wings, uh, Serious? Our, our top seller. And, uh, I spent my college years in upstate New York, ate a lot of chicken wings in my life. Always wanted to open just a chicken wing place. So uh, instead of just open chicken wings, I did a pizza and chicken wings and salad place. Now at Rock and Brew, uh, you know, we have great starters. Uh, and then our, uh, our our fastest growing uh, appetizer right now, we're, we're doing these cheeseburger rolls. So they're actual egg rolls that we slice in half. Oh, and sounds I, delicious. I tell you, these things are. That are sounds good. delicious, man. Really good. A little thousand on the side. There's pickles oh. on the side. Great cheeseburger rolls oh man that's so awesome i just love it i look at the photos online here and the food looks phenomenal yeah i I love the little tie-in to the history of music in some of them i love it i love it i love it it you know what it it, it, like i have to be honest like i said you have a phenomenal brand you've got great products you need to be in canada we're gonna get you up here and uh i just want to thank you for your time and here's the thing i always say to every guest that we have on that are rock stars and, and and We'll classify you as an industry rock star. You inspire others. And I want you to know that. And when you do these kind of things like coming on our show and stuff like this, and we have thousands of people to listen to this, you inspire others to keep doing and to take a little bit away from what you say about training, development, you know, attention to details, menus, leadership. It means a lot. So I just want to thank you, Adam, for spending the time with us. And it means a lot. And we're going to, don't go away. We're going to let you go, but don't go. So we can talk about how we can get one up here. We need a rock and brews in Canada. And uh, I just can't thank you enough for your time today. Well, we, we'd love to bring one up to you and up to, you know, to the areas that others are, are listening. And uh, you can contact us through our website. If you have ideas for us, um, we would love to hear it. Because as I say, as I go out and I look at different locations around the country, nobody knows them better than you guys that, that are local uh, that can really speak to, you know, the right areas. And and we are in a growth pattern right now. We we would love to check out in the, you know, the right spots up in Canada and across the U S right now, anybody overseas wants to talk. Uh, we're all ears. And uh, cool. we, this is a very fun brand. It's, it's great to walk into a restaurant and see families enjoying uh, the food. Like you said, cause you, you, you I, I appreciate you talking so much about the food because the food is so important. Uh, but also the fun, and you see them lip syncing yeah. the songs. You see their knees bouncing because they're excited of hearing those great classic rock hits uh, that that people grew up on, and even the young people they grew up uh, grew up on it through their parents and their grandparents. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Adam, I want to share. I want to share something with you, and I and it, I would didn't I didn't want to bring this up because so we lost a, a friend of mine back in I think it was last year. We lost Ryan Smokeland. He owns Smokes Poutinery. He was a massive Kiss fan. And he he met Gene. We I don't know if you know this, but we had a Kiss off, me and him on my show. Hmm. And we tried to see who had better Kiss Monroe Birolia. And he won because he pulls out a picture of him at Gene's house. And hanging out with Gene, I'm like, and I had Kiss ketchup and everything. I thought the ketchup would have won. But we had that. And we lost Ryan. And Ryan actually had it in his brand. If you look at Smoke's Petinery and you go to the website and you Google it, you'll see Kiss stuff ingrated into his brand and every time i did a show he had a picture of them behind him and i just it's just it's awesome to be able to um let you know that because gene and paul and kiss and everything meant so much to ryan and we lost him last year through a a surgery but um it speaks to the power that you have with this brand and the products and gene and everything else i just want to thank you it means a lot thank you very much And, and and we're glad uh glad to be here glad to support we love your show and uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk, talk offline and get you guys. Yes. Uh, yes. Up there. Yes. All right. So we're just going to let you go. Don't go too far. Uh, we're going to put you in the green room. Dominic, 
This is royalty we had on the show yeah. today. Yeah, just you, so you, you know. did it again, Jay. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So I don't want to spend much time because I want to talk to Adam about we need one up here, right? Eh? Like you're Yeah, the there's you know, um Calgary, Edmonton, even you know, there's oh. there's some cities in cat in Canada that uh, can support um easily support <laughs> some of those Come some of up. some of those brands. And um we we need we need some of that change up here, you know, and it's, it, they're good markets because there's, they're financially, some of these cities, especially in Western Canada are, you know, we're not as badly affected by, from the economy than, than a, lot of, a lot of other places. And we can, yeah. we need a little rock and roll and good oh, food sure. and great people and great leaders up here. Yeah. And we need Gene and Paul as well. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> that'd be in the deal, we open one up, they got to be there. So you want to see me flip out? Do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dominic. Have a good one. We'll chat Take later. Care, Jay.